Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are keeping great. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting as well as very basic question. It is a very important question. Given n nodes in a linked list, you have to reverse the entire linked list, right? So we'll understand the algorithm as well as the code. So let's start. So let's understand the algorithm of the problem. Now suppose we have a linked list consisting of 5 nodes 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and you have to reverse this linked list that is the final output that you have to obtain it should be something like this 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 alright because this was our original linked list and after reversing it this is our final linked list so to solve such a problem, we need three pointers. First pointer is previous, second pointer is current and third pointer is next. So three pointers are needed to solve this problem. Now let's see how. So our first step would be, we will create a null pointer and we will assign the value of null pointer in the previous pointer this P stands for previous C stands for current and N stands for next so I am using these abbreviations right so we will assign the value of null to the pointer P that is previous pointer we will assign current pointer the head of the linked list head means the node from where the linked list starts alright now we will initialize the next pointer by the node which is pointing to the next node of the current pointer that is this was the current pointer which is the next node of the current pointer this is the next node of the current pointer so the next pointer will point at the node which is pointing to the next of the current pointer alright now our algorithm says first we will make the next of current pointer to be equal to the previous pointer that is next of current pointer points to previous pointer that is this link now it has been changed right so basically this link has been deleted and this new link has been created right next of current pointer points to previous pointer and after doing this we will keep moving our pointers all the three pointers previous current and next one node forward until the current pointer reaches the end null what is the end null this was the initial linked list so the last node must be pointing to null pointer so till the point when current pointer points to this null node the end null so till that time we will run our loop all right so now this the next pointer of the current points to previous now we will update our pointers so the previous pointer now points to the current pointer current pointer has also moved forward next was also next pointer was also pointing to this pointer so now next pointer is also moved forward that is first we have changed this link and now all the three pointers are moving one node forward all right now we will follow the same strategy once again that is we will make current next equal to previous that is this new link has been created and this old link has been destroyed right the next of current now points to previous and now once again we update the position of all the three pointers that is previous points here current points here and next points here that is all the three pointers have moved one node forward now once again this is the current pointer so the next point the next of current points to previous now this is pointing to previous and now we will once again update the position of all three pointers so this is p this is current and this is next and this link had been deleted because in a singly linked list you, uh, you one node can point at max to any one node right so when this new node was created so this node might have been automatically deleted right now 
following the same steps once again the next pointer of current this is the current so it's next points to previous so this might have been deleted this link and all the three pointers move one step forward that is this becomes p this becomes c this becomes next now this is our current so the next of current points to previous so this node has been deleted and all the three pointers will now move one step forward so let's delete the previous positions and this is p this is c but here we notice that current pointer has reached null right since current pointer has reached null this was the condition that we included in our loop that our loop will run only to the point till the current pointer points to the null pointer of the linked list right so now our process has terminated and what we will return we will return the previous pointer because now if you look at the linked list you will observe that this pointer is actually the head of the new linked list so we are actually returning the head of the new linked list because if we return the head of a linked list the entire linked list can be traversed through the head of the linked list by just doing next right so this is our final updated linked list and it's a reverse linked list 5 4 3 2 1 and null right so this was the algorithm of this problem so now let's come to the coding part of the problem so first of all we'll create the structure of a node right class node so we include the va a value in a node and we have a pointer a next pointer all right now we will create a constructor we'll assign a value to it and we'll initialize the value this dot value equals value so we have created the structure of a node all right so this part is mandatory for you know every question of linked list because this part is actually creating a node so now let's create the you know main function that is which will actually do the thing so class cal you can uh, you know give any name to a class it doesn't matter much so now you have to create a function right and we have already seen in the algorithm that the in the updated linked list that is the reverse linked list we will return the previous pointer so previous pointer is actually the head of the return of the reverse linked list and head is actually a node so the function that you create here the return type of that function has to be a node hence the function which we are creating its return type has to be node and you can give any name to a function so let's give a meaningful name reverse list because that's actually what the function is doing and what uh, parameters will we accept in this we will accept the head of the original linked list right now let's check a base case that is a condition that if the linked list that we have obtained it is empty that is there is nothing in the linked list so definitely we cannot do much we will just return null we cannot do anything else now we as we discussed we'll create three pointers a previous pointer we'll initialize it to null we'll create a current pointer we will initialize it to the head of the original linked list and we'll create a next pointer and we will give it the value of current dot next that is the node which is to the next of the current pointer now we'll run a loop till the current pointer does not reach null that is the end null of the linked list which we saw in the algorithm right now what we'll do we'll assign next equal to current dot next now current dot next that is the next of current will become previous as we saw in the algorithm which we discussed and all pointers will move one step forward so previous will occupy the position of current 
and current will occupy the position of next that is this next and uh, when this loop starts again the next will occupy the position of the next of current so basically if this is previous this is current this is next so in the next step previous will occupy this position current will occupy this position next will occupy some other position that is the next of current then in further steps previous will occupy this position current will occupy this position next will move forward that is all three pointers are moving one step forward at a time right and in the end we will return previous because previous stores the head of the return of the reversed linked list right as we saw in the algorithm demonstrated by the image so this was our full code of reversing a linked list uh, so friends this was all about the question of reversing a linked list with n nodes it was a pretty simple question and we'll discuss further questions of linked list in upcoming videos so stay connected and happy coding